Hello everybody. Welcome to my series of tutorials on interior modeling. In this tutorial, I'll explain the procedure to create the three-dimensional model of the ceiling fan. I'll be mostly making use of solid modeling techniques to create this model. So let's get started. I'll start with the top part of this fan first. For this, I'll create the profile, then I'll revolve it about the vertical axis. That means about the y-axis to complete it. So let's open a new file. Then I'll create some reference lines with certain dimensions to create the profile. So I'll start with the polyline command. Then I'll start from here and I'll turn the ortho mode on and I'll give a distance of five. It's not visible properly. So I'll just zoom in. Then I'll straight down. I'll give a distance of 10. Then leftward, I'll give a distance of four. Then downward, I'll give 15. Then rightward, I'll again give 4. Then downward, I'll give 10. Then leftward, 5. And I'll give a close. This profile will act as a reference profile, which will help me create the main profile to be revolved. So I'll start with the polyline from this point to this point. Okay, I'll turn off the dynamic input. Then I'll come to this point, to this point, then I'll go to arc option. Okay, then I'll pick a point somewhere over here. Then I'll pick a point to complete the curvilinear position. Then I'll right click and come to line mode. Then I'll pick a point over here. Then right click and close it. So this is the profile that I'm planning to revolve. And the reference profile can be erased. So I'll just select it and hit delete button to get rid of it. Now you can give a revolve command, select the profile to be revolved. And then this is the first point on the axis, next point on the axis. And I want to revolve 360. So just give an enter. Hence you can create the top part. Next I'll create the main body of the fan. For that I'll start with the polyline from this center. So I'll shift right click and take center. Click here and I'll turn the ortho mode on. Through a distance of 15 cm, I'll draw a polyline. Next, I'll offset this polyline through 2.5 to downward. One more offset. Then I'll create another polyline connecting these two endpoints. Then I'll grip it this polyline leftward through a distance of 1.5. And uh, this endpoint, I'll grip it through a distance of 3. Next, I'll connect these two endpoints using polylines again. Now, I'll draw another polyline from this endpoint. Now, I'll go to arc, second point, and I'll choose this particular point as a second point. Then, I'll connect with this line. Then, again, second point, And I'll choose this point as a second point, And I'll connect with this endpoint. Next, I'll erase this polyline. Then I'll go to join option and I'll join all this polyline as a single profile. Next, I'll revolve this polyline about the vertical axis. So I'll select revolve and this polyline. And this is the first point on the axis. Next point on the axis, 360 degrees I want to revolve. So just give an enter. So I've created the main body as well as the top part. Let's switch over to the southwest isometry. Now you can see that the orientation is to be corrected. Now the fan is in the lying down position. It has to be taken to the standing position. So I'll give rotate 3D command. Then I'll select all those objects. Now I'll specify the X axis as the axis of rotation. Then I'll choose the center at the bottom as the base point. Then I'll give an angle of 90 degrees. Now it is taken to the correct orientation. Next, we will create the leaves for this fan. For that, I'll start with a rectangle. I'll switch over to the top view. Then I'll click on the rectangle command. I'll click my first corner here. And I'll go to dimension option. The length of the rectangle is 60. And the width is 15 and I'll click to define the opposite corner point. Next, I'll grip edit these two endpoints. I'll click to activate this grip and I'll 
Activate the ortho mode and I'll move through a distance of 2.5. And this endpoint I'll move through a distance of 2.5. Now you can now you have introduced a taper. Next I'll go to fillet. Then I'll go to radius. Then I'll give a radius of 1.5. I'll go to polyline. I'll choose this rectangle to be filleted. Now you can see that all the four corners got filleted simultaneously. Next I'll draw a circle with the center radius method and I'll give a radius of 4.5. Now I'll click on the trim command. I just give an enter and you trim off this portion. Next I'll just click to grip edit this arc to reduce the curvature. Next I'll convert all this object to a single object. So I'll give join command and I'll select all those objects. Next I'll make a rectangle with a, a random dimension. You can use proportional dimensions to get this shape. Next I'll give move command to move this rectangle with this as the base point and this midpoint as a second point. Next I'll give region command to create a surface inside these profiles. So I'll give region R E G I O N and I'll select these two profiles. Next I would like to convert these two regions into a single object. I can do that using the union command. So click on union to get a single object. Now let's move this leaf towards the main body of the fan to position it precisely. So I'll switch over to the southwest isometry. Now I'll give move command. I'll select this object. This mid is the base point and I'll choose the center as a second point. I'll just click on the center. Next I'll switch over to the top view again. Then I'll click on the move command. Select this leaf. Base point you can click here. Second point you can move slightly a rightward and you can make a click. So this is the actual position of the leaf. Next we need multiple copies of the same leaf in the polar pattern. So I'll click on the polar array and I'll select this leaf. Then I'll ask you for the center of the array which is the center point. Now you can go to items then I'll give 3 as the number of items. Now I have got 3 leaves. You can close the array. Now you can switch over to the southwest isometric and you can take a look. Let's change the display representation to a realistic. So this is how it will appear. Now you can feel a bit of segmentation on this curvular portion. You can control the number of faces along the curvular surfaces in a solid model using the facet res variable. So I type facet res and I can give the maximum value of 10. Now you can see that this surface is more smooth than it was before. Next let's change the color of this fan. So I'll select the entire object then I'll press ctrl 1 then I'll select select color then I'll choose this particular color. Okay, I've changed the color of only the main body and the upper part. But the color of the leaves remains unchanged. That's because leaves are array objects. You'll be able to individually change the properties of array objects only if you explode these objects. So I'll give the command X for explode. Then I'll select these objects. Now it loses the array property, but there is no problem. Now I'll click on this particular color. Now the color of the leaves got changed. I'll close the properties palette and I'll take a bottom view. Now I'll create another element at the bottom. So I'll change the visual style to 2D wire frame. I'll draw a circle by click on center radius method and I'll choose this center point, this particular point as a center point. Then I'll just click to define a random radius. Type point command and I'll pick a point somewhere over here and you can see a point bloated. Okay. If you want you can change the display representation of a point using the command p type. Now I'll change the representation to this particular one and give ok. Now the representation is changed. Next I'll give move and I'll select this point. Base point you can pick anywhere on the screen. After activating the ortho mode if it is not active. Just keep the cursor in the downward direction and I'll give the value 1.5. Now the point is moved downward. Next I'll create a ruled surface connecting this point and the circle. So I'll give a rule surf command and I'll select this circle and the point. Now we have created a surface. So I'll click on erase and select the circle as well as this point. 
Okay. Now change the visual style to realistic again. This is how you create a 3D ceiling fan using the 3D modeling techniques in AutoCAD software. Hope this tutorial was useful and it has given you some insights related with 3D modeling. Thanks for your time.